guys welcome back to my channel uh, my name is Gladwell Kozak if you're new here please do feel welcome uh, if you're a returning viewer thank you for stopping by once again on today's video I will just crack on I'm going to show you a tour of my uh, updated kitchen the last tour that I did was sometime in January and it was before we had installed our dishwasher the dishwasher has been in for about seven months now and i just needed to show you how the kitchen looks with the dishwasher installed and secondly i also want to show you uh, not only uh, the overall look of my kitchen but how i've arranged inside the cabinet so yeah let's crack on uh, so guys this is a quick uh, overall look of how the kitchen turned out uh, from outside and I do hope uh, like me I am loving it I have been using this new kitchen for the last one year and I cannot tell you how it has made our lives as a family uh, really easy especially with the dishwasher no much of standing and doing the dishes all the time as soon as we are done with the dishes we just add on into the dishwasher and then we just uh, wait until it's full and we are able to run it uh, the rest of the stuff like with accessing things putting things where they're supposed to be and being able to have so much storage unlike before has also made the life and the overall look of the kitchen really really be helpful and functional for us as a family so yeah if like me you would uh, like the challenge of redoing your kitchen why not so as i said before uh, this is the overall look of the new uh, kitchen uh, the updated version the last um, tour was in sometimes in January so this is about seven months down the road with the dishwasher installed and uh, if you haven't watched my dishwasher uh, videos I would highly recommend because they are one of the most viewed in my channel so we bought a Bosch uh, dishwasher it's a series two for those who are interested and it's been doing me good i will be running another uh, video for uh, demonstration for the uh, tablets that i use so uh, be sure to look out for that new video which will be coming soon so uh, we changed the sink as well as the top uh, countertops we did not change the drawers we just painted them and we added the hardwares so those ones they saved us a lot of money rather than redoing and changing the new two new cabinets so we managed to upgrade the kitchen without having to spend so much money uh, this is my uh, dishwasher detergent uh, remember not everything goes into the dishwasher so things like um, wooden stuff some other plastics not everything can go into the dishwasher so some some things they have and still have to be hand washed so that's why I still do have the hand wash uh, detergent for the for the dishes and uh, yeah from here i love my kitchen because from here i can see the view of my garden which is absolutely lovely especially this time of the year during the summer months when we sit out as a family to just relax and just have a good time uh, on this side uh, recently we traveled to uh, kenya and on our way back we bought some knickknacks so this is something that i did manage to buy and I brought it back to Ke from Kenya. These are coasters and they are all in different, uh, they're made from stone and they're all from different carvings of animals and I absolutely love them. Uh, 
because they bring some vibrance, African vibrance uh, back in England. And yeah, as you can see, they are really, really, uh, they just bring the charm of Africa and the wildlife uh, back at home. And it just gives me those vibes of just being back in Kenya. So those are souvenirs that we got back and uh, yeah, they are useful because we can still uh, make use of them and use them in the kitchen. Uh, we also did buy these uh, souvenirs. We passed by uh, um, Amsterdam in Holland. So we also did buy these uh, little knickknacks. I love them because Holland is where they grow the carnation uh, flowers. So uh, yeah, as you can see, that's something that they are happy to show off. Uh, so I put back my bits and uh, even with those little bits, they just give my uh, kitchen a new nice modern look with just those little additions on the shelvings. And the rest is where I put also my recipe books and uh, a few other uh, things which I can be able to easily access it access them this is my uh, smart meter it gives me the readings or sends my readings to the energy company of my usage and it also helps me to check uh, how much uh, energy i am using during the day uh, throughout the month and that way it can be able to help me to actually be to use my energy wisely reduce some things that i don't necessarily have to be using around the house and also to be wise in making decisions like for example when to run the dishwasher which i usually mostly done during the evening when the energy consumption is really low so those are also uh, some of the tips that you can take out when you're having things like dishwashers or or a washing machine to run them mainly during the evening or over the weekends when the energy consumption is at at the lowest uh, so under my sink i do have uh where i put all the kitchen clothes and also my uh, dish washing uh soap and the rest of the stuff and i also do put here my rice cooker on this other end is where i have my fruit uh, basket and i also have where I put all the oils that I use around the house uh, when I'm doing my cookings and some other uh, little things like this is uh, rice vinegar. Um, this is uh, soy, soy sauce. This is uh, chili, uh, infused chili uh, olive oil. Uh, this is uh, Spanish extra olive oil. So all those are the oils and other extras that I use. And this container I bought from Ikea. Um, and I find it very, very useful because uh, it helps me to conceal things that I do not want to stand out in the house. Oh, on this top drawer is where I put my cups and uh, glasses. And uh, yeah this is also a brilliant idea that i i got uh, from the internet i bought these hooks from um amazon so it's also an, a, a, a good uh space saving ideas if you're thinking or you have a small kitchen and you do not have so many drawers is something that you can try out and see if it can help you to be able to uh, save uh, much space uh my country this is my cutlery drawer, all nice and arranged. I love how the cutlery is nice and clean. This is a, as a result of having the dishwasher with the silverware. It usually does a thorough clean job. So I am loving having the dishwasher rather than doing the dishes by hand because you are having a thorough good job done. This is also uh, the drawer for the other bits. 
that I use around the kitchen and you can see I decluttered, decluttered this one last year so I have just the bits that I usually use on a regular basis. Inside my drawer I do have my cups, uh, my, my plates. Uh, this is the shelving for the plates and uh, these ones I bought from uh, from Matalan I think and uh, yeah it helps me to separate the saucers from the plates and all that kind of stuff and the shelving helps me to be able to arrange and access things more easily and that is the same shelving as you can see if that is an idea that you can think uh, of and uh, replicating in your home uh, that would be brilliant and the other bit is where I put my other bits that I use for preparing and storing all my other bits as you can see uh, I did put in this uh, as you can see this is a liner that I put not long ago if you haven't watched that video you can do watch after I did decor decorate I changed so that I will keep my uh, shelves clean and tidy and this one I can always remove and wash and then put it back on this side of the uh, kitchen is where I have my cooker and we did the hob uh, over the cooker so uh, this is where I have all my cooking uh, equipments for this side I do have my baking uh, equipment so my measuring cups and all the bits for doing and uh, cutting the cookies and all that kind of stuff uh, I also have some pans in here and these are silicone uh, covers for covering the food um, here I do have some uh, plastic containers and also some other bits for storing uh, jugs for making uh, the juicing on this one I do have those little bits of things that you cannot be able to put in containers because they are leftovers of different things and and most of the stuff is for baking and this other stuff is also for baking as well as well as my uh, mixing machine on this other side is where all of my spices are my spice jars as you can see these are all kinds of uh, spice spices that we have here so this is tarragon this is uh, ginger um, rosemary we do have a rosemary uh, plant growing in our garden so we can be able to get some fresh rosemary and we have curry might curry basil and on the top drawer um, we also have the other spare and extra spices that we have in our bigger volumes so yeah i do love how our kitchen actually has turned out and even with this um draw the uh, top uh, drawers we did add this two uh, and the other one on the other side so we have four of them and uh, i am able to put as many things as possible uh with uh hood is the new thing that we did the cooker is still the old cooker that we did had we had before so we did not change that one because it was still in good working order and it's still perfect and good to go we also did the full tiling my husband did all the tiling around the kitchen so all this tiling all this uh, styling all that it's all his his work and also we did buy as I said when we uh, went to Kenya, we also did buy these two uh, uh, salad spoons and I love them. I love the design that they do have, the animal kind of animal print on them. So I just, just love those bits that we brought from Kenya. This side is the tea and coffee uh, place where we have the 
kitchen uh, the, the kettle and we have tea coffee sugar and here we also have some other extra breakfast uh, things the spreads coffee extra coffee for my husband uh, uh, peanut butter we have a tea masala that I brought from Kenya I also use this uh, manuka uh, honey which apparently is really good for you and also um, drinking ch chocolate for my son and all that kind of stuff and on top here we do have the wine rack it just has five bottles we are not massive uh, wine drinkers so that is more than enough for us and on this uh, corner we also do have uh, different kinds of teas and I brought tea from Kenya as you can see for Hari yeah, Kenya that is black tea and uh, that is what I usually regularly use and I also uh, have this part where I do put my kitchen paper for baking and for film and and aluminium foil and all that kind of stuff in this drawer up here is where I have my uh, table mats placement mats and all that kind of stuff and also I do have some spare uh, spices uh, on here here is where I have all my uh, cooking um, pans and all that bits and on this stack which is absolutely a brilliant idea is where at the door as a saving um, way of saving space is the storage for the lids the saucepan lids and all that kind of stuff and I find that was a really good thing that we did when we did the improvement in the house so guys believe me like me you can be able to do to do uh, and improve things in your house or in your kitchen without actually spending so much money so like me if you think uh, this is something that you're up to we it took about uh, a month and a half to do all these upgrades uh, we had some time off from work and uh, yeah it's something you can also think of doing and uh, improving your kitchen so that it can be able to work well for you and uh, yeah I hope uh, my video is and has been able to give you ideas and uh, things that you can do and change in your kitchen as well so guys I am not going to take more of your time Thank you for stopping by and I do hope to see you in the next one. So bye for now.